Okay, today is going to be really simple, quick. I'm going to show you the fascia which coats all of these things. All of these are coated with the fascia, which is like a membrane. And then we're going to go inside this rock, and I'm going to show you how it develops into the internal tissue. Okay, now I have to go real dark so that we can see it well. Now, anybody that's been following understands that is fascia. That is the fabric that coats everything, coats your lungs, coats, coats everything. And that's, let me home in on this a little clearer if I can. All right. This is the fibers and the fabric that is the, the, literally a fabric that wraps around all the organs in your body, skin and everything. It's a membrane. All right, so now, what's inside this? If I turn it inside out, you see that ring around the outside? And then there's the blood vessels over here. We're going to look at that in a microscope. Okay, here's what you're looking at right here is this rock. And I'm going to show you the vein and the artery in it. And um, everything has a vein and artery. See, the blue is always the, the uh, vein. And the red is the artery. The red brings the fresh blood, and the vein brings back the bad blood to be fixed back up again with clean it out and oxygen and all that. Now, right there is what we're going to be looking at up here in the microscope. The microscope's right up there. Okay, here we go. Boom. All right, here it is. Now, what do you see? I know what I see. I see the outside layer of the skin or in this case it's I'm sure it's the fascia which is the coating the membrane that coats around an organ I'm pretty sure this is an organ I'm not certain of what organ it is I think it could be possibly a liver maybe a pancreas this is the artery blood the red blood this is the vein blood the black blood this is the seam that runs between this layer, which is a tough fibrous layer. This is tough. This is tough stu stuff has to protect this. And then, then there's this, all this fluidy stuff in between, which is called the interstitium. And it's a fluid-filled highway, they call it. And the blood sends messengers in and out of here all the time to attack whatever's trying to attack you. That's how it works in your body. Now, let me move this thing around a little bit. Now, it might get a little shaky, but this device works pretty good. Now, this is going inside, and you see it's just whatever it is, I don't know. And then this is the other side. It has another seam on this side. You see it? Now, outside was the, inter the normal interstitium that I show all the time. Now, that is, I don't know what, that little white spot there, I don't know what that is. But it's something that is inside this organ, whatever this organ is. You see it, that seam goes all the way around. Now, Let's just turn it over. I'm just going to turn it right over. And we'll back out of it. And you'll see this has the, um, the same thing you always hear them say, oh, that's just feldspar. Well, you call it anything you want, but it's not, it's not just some natural mineral. This is the fabric that coats life. And of that, I am 100% certain. All these fabrics and so forth mix together to form a, a, a coating of what's called fascia around this particular whatever it was. Now, let's see how this is on the side. And that's a crack where the black blood is leaking out. Yep, you see it right there? The red blood <coughs> is over here and the black blood is here. 
and the crack is coming out. And that's the black blood. Alright, I just put a little bit of moisture in there. You see the black blood takes on a little bit of a different hue and so does the red. The crack shows up quite a bit more. Alright, the red blood sucks it up like instantaneously. And so does the fascia, which is this stuff here. You see where it's, I put water on it down here. And we can see a lot of the detail. And over here, I'm going to put a home in on the two of them together at the same time. So that you can see the difference between water and no water. Let me come down here a little closer. Alright, you see like I said the red blood sucks it up quick. Now you can see all the fibers in here really well and the little black balls and so forth. Over here you can see all that same stuff, the little black balls and the fibers and the red and everything, but it doesn't take quite as much drama. <laughs> the this is always this is always aqueous solutions they call it. We live we're like a bag of water with a bunch of chemistry running in it, feeding all the tissues. That's basically what we are. Okay, just in case we got some newbies watching this is the DNA tested human lung I took the DNA out of this red spot here and had it tested and it was human and I mean I went inside it drilled inside of it and got it out and it, I'm going to show you up here in the microscope Zoom. that's the fabric that's the fabric right there that is the fabric that coats your whole body now uh, well it's membranes now in the lungs, you really got to do a lot of moving around. Your body's, your lungs got to do this all day long, 24 hours a day. You got some really rubbery, thick, they call this pleura. The rest of the places they call fascia. This is really thick and dense. I mean, it's heavy. And, uh, and there it is right there. That's what we're looking at in the microscope. Right, <laughs> check this out. You're going to say, oh, how can I defend that statement that that pleura is real thick compared to fascia? You see that? That's what pleura is. You see how thick that is? That is a lung and it's partially degraded. That's the thickness of the pleura. That's how I can make that statement stick. And here's that flat spot, just like they're all flat. They all died in a great flood. It just appears that way. Same thing with Caesar. My goose. All right, you see the feather pattern in his head? I'm pretty sure it's a goose. I call him Caesar, Caesar Augustus. And that's his neck, and, all, and that's got the same pleura in it as, I mean, the same um, uh, fascia as all the other stuff. Now, you could call that pleura, it's just an extremely dense fascia. Because it's got to go, <sighs> it's like a rubber bag. Now you see there's Caesar. Now that's, that's feathers. And here's what they look like. It's all collagen. Collagen has the same look. Alright, I just put a little water on Caesar's head and all of a sudden I thought I heard him say, am I going to go for a swim? I said, no Caesar, not today buddy. Now, that is the fascia. But it's feathers. Collagens are exactly the same. I'm coming up close. Let's see what we can see on Caesar here. You see, it's basically the same stuff. All right, and that's because it's got a little bit of water on it. We see a little more color. You see that? That's Caesar's eye. And it appears to be some red blood, and that looks like it's the pupil to me, and that's the eye. And of course, it's got the same fascia around here. It's a little more dense right around the 
the lid, you know. And then again, there it is right there. That's Caesar being scoped. All right, I just put a little water on Caesar's eye. And if you can see this right here, follow that little crease around, all the way around, all the way around, all the way around. It looks like it got squished up a little bit, but this should fill, and that's basically the center of his eye, I believe. This appears to have exuded a little bit of blood, or it might be tears, or I don't know what, but it's a little different chemistry than what we have here. Now, I believe this either went up to here, was this the dot in the center, or this whole thing was the dot, I don't know. But I could see both possibilities. But definitely this area here was part of his eye, and this is the, the whole eye. And here, if you look, this is what they look like. All right, there's a center core, and then it's the rest is sort of aqueous. And that's basically what we have here. I believe that's basically the center of the center. And then it was just sort of gooey around there. Yeah, it's making sense. It's it's a big pupil in the center, and around the outside you have that little reddish spot I showed you before, and you're going to see that there's some denser fiber because this must be the the way the eyelid closes. And here it is, right here. You see that's that fabric that is on the outside of the eyelid, and it closes, and this is a little bit denser too over here. This is that red area that looked like it was draining down. Now it's dried up so it doesn't look red anymore, but it was pretty red when it was moist. You know, it struck me as I was looking at this thing that I think mallard ducks have a flap like this on the back of their head. I, I, this could be a duck. I love been calling him Caesar, and I, you'll always be Caesar to me, buddy. <laughs> Never going to change. It's me and you, Caesar. But is he a goose? I don't know. I don't know if he is or not. We need an avian expert. All right, I got to be honest with you. I need an expert. We need an expert. Now, what does that expert have to see to determine what this is? Well. I believe this is the beak that comes here, and there's a little bump here, which I see they all have some kind of little bump where the beak attaches. Now, what it looks like there, I'm not 100% sure. The eye is that distance back. They have a, he has a little bump there where it's, so the bump is not way back up here, it's way down in the front, which makes a difference because I think the ducks are in the back. I just actually noticed that. Now, what about the top? This feather pattern, you see they're all running off here and then there's a big flap across the top. Ooh. I don't know what that is. It's a big flap across the top. Now. It died laying flat like this in the Great Flood, which all of my stuff did. That's the underneath of his neck, and I think the geese have a sort of a wrinkly neck. Now, this is the other side, which was the flat side that was down. Now, can we see anything on this side? Not really, it's just sort of flat. Because it was, it was cooked. And it just laid here and, and hardened up. Now, at some point, the neck snapped off. And that's where the neck was right there. Well, it's, it's where the, the, what's remaining of his neck is here. And there's the, the artery right there. And I've had that and, and looked at this very carefully. I know 100% certain that's what it is. So, 
it snapped right off. And that's what it would have been. Laying here flat like this, the neck would have come down. You know, they all have a head and, and the little neck is, and if the neck was flat, this is exactly what would happen. And that's got the same fascia, the same coating. So, I need somebody to comment that's an avian person that takes into account where the little nose hole is, that little bump. This, I don't know what that is there. But that's something. I think. <laughs> the eye, how it slants back and so forth. And there it is right there. I, I you know, I, th it, it, you can see it pretty good once you get it wet. Um, so I would like to get Caesar identified. All right, but don't worry, Caesar. It's me and you, buddy. It's never going to change. No matter who you are. All right. Thank you, my good friends.